This lesson is the triangle sum theorem, which is actually a very simple concept. Basically, what the triangle sum theorem tells us is that for any triangle, no matter what its shape happens to be, whether it's a, a right triangle or an equilateral triangle or an isosceles triangle, any triangle of any sort, of any shape, it will always have 180 degrees as the total of the interior angles of the triangle. So as I'm going along here just drawing a bunch of different kinds of triangles, every single one of them, no matter what their shape, if you were to add up the sums of all the angles inside the triangle, it would always be 180 degrees. And that's all there is to the theorem. But the reason it's important to know, or what, the reason we're going to use it, or the way we're going to use it, is by recognizing that if that total is always 180 degrees, if we know any two angles, say 30 degrees and maybe 20 degrees, then we can find the third angle easy because we just take the total of 180 and subtract the two angles that we have. 180 minus 30 minus 20 is 130 and that will be the measure of the third angle in any one of these triangles. If I happen to know that it's a right triangle, then I only need to know one of the angles because the right angle is always 90. So then I can just take 180 minus 90 minus 30. 90 and 30 is 120, so that leaves 60 degrees. So that gives me the 60 degree measure of the third angle. So the triangle sum theorem just tells us that for any triangle always has 180 degrees as its interior measure of angle degrees, interior angle degree measure. NGLE equals 180 degrees. All right, let's take a look at the examples. <laughs> 